Okay, so this is part 11 of the Decades Challenge. In a previous episode, I had mentioned that I wanted to look into um, celebrating Halloween. I wasn't sure if Halloween was a thing back then or how it was even celebrated. So I've done some research on Halloween in the year 1890 and um, we're going to celebrate it as traditionally as possible. Um, Right now, Thomas is just cleaning up some of these leaf piles because they're pretty gross. Patchy has wandered away. Um, so yeah, I was doing some research on how ha Halloween was celebrated, what the traditions were, and um, I actually kind of learned a lot. We're going to get him to rake some of these leaves as well because they're pretty, they're pretty bad. So I do have a bonfire going here. It was just raining, but not a bonfire going, but I bought the, the pit for it. It was raining like just a minute ago, but now it's really nice out. <laughs> So that's good. Uh, I guess we could get the kids to come play outside, maybe. Um, maybe she should go to the washroom first. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I was looking into Halloween, and here is basically what I found. So um, this website I'm doing my research on said that it was basically brought over by the Irish. Um, and it said it marked the end of the harvest season and coincided with All Saints Day. When preparing their feast tables, families would set a place for dead loved ones and tell stories about them. Um, it said that... I'm just trying to like get the highlights of how it was celebrated. Um, they did have costumes, but they were super creepy back then. So I won't be actually doing the um, costumes because they weren't really even... Um, not even really what they are now. Like It was mostly ghosts and like clowns and just really but in really creepy ways. <laughs> Just really terrifying costumes. So we won't be doing any of the costume part of it. Uh, maybe in the next generation when we have uh, Halloween again, we'll do it. But in this one, we're gonna just skip that part. Um, so it also says that at a time of year when daylight was in short supply, fire and light were central features of the celebration. Bonfires were lit, turnips were hollowed out, not pumpkins, which is strange, and a candle put inside. Um, once the Irish were established in America and celebrating their homeland traditions, they found that the indigenous pumpkin was much better for carving than turnips. So, I mean, we're going to use uh, pumpkins because we don't have turnips in the game, so we don't really get that choice. Um, and uh, since so the celebration was especially important for um, farmers, it was a pl it was a time uh, when the long winter was to come, assessing their harvest stores hoping they had enough to last and their livestock until spring. See, that sentence didn't make any sense, but honestly, that's what it was. So, um, yeah, basically they would have a lot of festive lighting. Um, they would have grand meals and they did carve pumpkins, uh, turnips originally, and then it became pumpkins. So we're going to do it with pumpkins because that, that's the only thing you can do. You can't just, uh, you can't just carve anything you want. Um, and... I think that was pretty much it. Oh, uh, pranks was also, it was also like a mischievous holiday. Uh, they did a lot of pranks back then as well, especially teens and kids. And um, they did bobbing for apples, which we can't do. Uh, parents would gift their kids apples and cakes, which is interesting, uh, which we can do because Margaret can make cakes and Thomas can collect apples. So that is good. Uh, anyway, so I've got the house all decorated for Harvest Fest. Um, so we we've kind of got I may have gone overboard but it did say to have some festive lighting so it they had candles everywhere I've got candles there uh, I even have like this this thing here uh, candles on the fridge there uh, more candles on the table I got like a string of cards over there which I thought were really cute uh, oh that's hovering but that's all right um, yeah candles and lights all over the place and then outside I have put uh, a couple of pumpkins Oh, and there's a wreath on the door, which, like, doesn't really work, but that's okay. Uh, so I did get the pump... Uh, I can't even speak. Pumpkin carving station as well, which is over here. Um, but Halloween is until tomorrow. So, I mean, it's all decorated, but we're not actually celebrating until tomorrow. So the traditions that I have included are festive lighting, which I've never done before, but that was apparently part of it. So it says, to participate, click on a holiday tree, menorah, or canara, and select light candle. Um, it's kind of weird to do any of those things because obviously that's for Hanukkah and Kwanzaa, um, and that's not what we're celebrating, but we could still try something, we could still try lighting one of those things, um, and just say it's for Halloween, I guess. Um, also they would have bonfires as well, I was reading, um, just trying to find where that part is. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Um, oh, it said that uh, masks were used to fool the evil spirits uh, and they impersonated their deceased loved ones. So creepy. Um, when a costume or antic was particularly entertaining, the young people would be given apples, nuts, or small cakes. <laughs> so that's interesting. Um, I think, yeah, bonfires were lit, turnips were hollowed out. So we will have a bonfire in the backyard. Uh, and then the grand meal, um, I guess it's a time when they kind of like had their last grand meal before winter came, so we can do that as well. Uh, Mischief Spirit, uh, they're going to do some pranks, and then Spooky Spirit as well. So those are all the traditions I picked. I think I maxed out all the ones we could do, um, which is good. I'm going to get Margaret if she can. Oh, she's going to feed Mary. Okay, that's fine. Um, or is she? Oh, no, she is. We're good. Okay, let's get her to serve some chili. I feel like that's all they eat, but that's okay. Also, the, Mary's toy is sitting there. I'll give that back to her. Um, so the kids are actually pretty happy. He got himself a sandwich. Patchy, I think it's time you you left. <laughs> I mean, I, I have accepted him as a member of our family. He, you know, he likes to help out a lot. He seems to care about everybody. But there needs to be a, you know, a point in time when he just goes back. Um, but I guess, I guess for tomorrow it would be appropriate if he were to celebrate with us. That's not a bad thing. Um... Is he playing cards by himself? Yes, he is. Okay. He's going to actually go to the washroom. Oh, also, I got rid of... I built that... Um, I don't even know what to call it. Basically, just... It was a roof over top of the um, clothesline because I thought that that would help um, to dry the laundry, but it didn't. So I tested it out because I had one that was underneath the covered area and one that was outside of it. And the one that was outside of it dried, and this one did not. So... I got rid of it. I did keep the um, the dirt line here though because it looks to me like there used to be a structure there and it's gone, which is what happened, but I think it looks good so I'm just going to keep it like that. And oh, um, Edna, you can like just empty that. Uh, he can clean that up and then the food should be... What's going on? Oh, it's broken. Okay, um, you can go fix that. That's a gas leak. Like, really everybody should be getting out of the building, but... Um, that's not happening. Okay, Mary also has to go to bed, so Margaret can eat and then put her to bed. We're just ignoring the gas leak that's going on in the background, apparently. Uh, I just want to see what a Kanara... I don't even know what that is, honestly. I feel so insensitive for not knowing that. But there's a men menorah and a Kanara, and I really don't know what the difference... I think Kanara is for Kwanzaa, I believe. But I just want to see if we can get one of those things to light for our festive lighting. Um, see, like, it's not going to tell me what the difference is, but maybe if, what if we just put this one, like, um, I don't know, can I put it there? I think we can put it there for now. Um, I don't want it lit, though, because apparently it's like a, it's the tradition when you light it, light all candles. Okay, we'll do that tomorrow. Um, Joseph, Thomas, I mean, oh. I'm really bad at that. I'm getting their names mixed up. The kids are being uh, really good right now. They're both cleaning up, except for Mary. She's crying, but that's all right. She's just tired. I think uh, Edna was going to throw that away, and then Joseph already did. Okay, good. Uh, and then he can rake some leaves. They both can rake some leaves. Uh, they don't have to go to school tomorrow, so we've got all the time in the world. Where did she go? Oh, that's actually not where that goes. You can do that properly thank you and yeah put her to bed or whatever you're doing someone needs to get her to bed and uh, then I think Thomas can go out and help them with the raking I'll throw this away I just want to throw the leaf piles away because they just start to stink after a while maybe that's what they should do instead of rake them up Joseph already gave up anyway so whatever and she gave up too okay not helpful throw that away and now what are you doing? She was being so helpful outside and now she's just decided to do her own thing. What are you doing? Where's the kid? That's not your bed. I don't know if she can get up the stairs. I'm gonna try. We'll find out. I don't know if she has enough movement skill to go all the way up the stairs. Um, Margaret has given up. She's going to bed now. When does this baby do? I have no idea. Oh, not until... Oh, tomorrow around this time. Oh, we're going to have a Halloween baby. Okay. All right. And 
Why are you guys doing this? Like, you know where the trash is. Please, please put it away. Properly. I'm watching all of you, because I don't trust you. Yeah, see, she, she gave up. Just had, like, this little giggle like it was funny. Um, I guess, oh, there's this one. Throw that one away. Oh, they, they are refusing to do these chores. Like, they couldn't be bothered. Let's see, who's gonna give up and drop it? Oh, Edna, okay. No. Her dad's like, I've got this. Just, just go to bed. Okay, good. Uh, that's most of the piles, if not all of them. Uh, looks good. Okay, so let's send them all to bed. Um, last night was interesting. I played through the night because I had to, I wanted to film like a new intro. Uh, so I played through the night and wow, um, they all woke up because there was a monster under somebody's bed and they wouldn't go back to sleep. And that was fun because you can't get the monster light. Um, so that was super frustrating. I kind of hope that doesn't happen tonight. Also, a lot of these things can be evolved, so that's what I'm doing now. Um, or not a lot. Maybe just that one. I don't even see... Okay, that's it for the trees, at least. Oh, I don't see anything else sparkling. Oh, but I do hear one of the children are away. Go to bed. Well, no wonder she's awake. Her sister's giggling in her sleep. Let's turn on that the candles. That may help. Why not? Uh, don't wake up. Uh, don't. I was gonna say don't wake up your sister, and then she went ahead and did it anyway. Okay, good. Um, let's see what their parents are up to. Oh, who just woke up? Oh, see more more monsters. And I could spray them, but I find that that does not work in my game. It they just come back anyway. It doesn't work. So whatever. Um. We'll just leave that. I so badly wish that that was not a feature in the game. Out of all the details they could have included, um, I would have rather have pretty much anything else other than that. I find that The Sims 4 skips out on a lot of details, but replaces it with like stupid ones that nobody cares about. Oh, we've got some lightning. I was kind of hoping to see the lightning start a fire, which I know sounds really horrible, but I have yet to see that. I, at least I don't think I've seen it. I, oh, actually, no, I have seen it. My um, I had a swing set. In my aspirations challenge. I had a swing set, um, light on fire. So that's, that's cool. Who just got up? Oh, she has to go to the, okay, yeah. No, that, you get a free pass. You're fine. Um, but then go back to bed, I think. Uh, to me, the Decades Challenge is kind of like a combo of the Decades Challenge and like a Seasons LP because even though like those are so overdone by now, but I like the idea of being able to celebrate all the holidays and you know, handle all the seasons in different ways that would have been done back then, if that makes any sense. It's like the evolution of how, oh, oh, no. Well, I guess 5.30 is not that bad. You can, you can probably wake up at 5.30, sure. Monster, yeah. He has a wild imagination. So Joseph will be a teen in six days, and Edna, she still has 11 days, and then Mary still has five days. And then the new baby should be here today, I would think. Um, let's get Thomas up, and he can go and eat some food. And Margaret should probably get up as well. Um, so I think it was around like 8 or 9 p.m. that she'd be having the baby. So that is good. Mary, she's fine for now. Okay, so we got Halloween going on today. Um, it's a Saturday, so nobody has to go to school or anything like that. Um, festive lighting. Mary loves this tradition from being a toddler, and she loves the grand meal. That is so cute. So you can see which ones they love and which ones they don't love. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't even know if I noticed that before. Uh, Thomas loves the fire tradition from loving the outdoors. That is really sweet. Uh, <laughs> I, I like that detail. Um, I don't think there's much that Joseph can do outside to help, I don't think. Most of the leaf piles are all cleaned up and ready to go. Um, lately, I've just been picking up their laundry piles and just throwing them into um, Margaret's thing. I mean, we're still going to do laundry, but for the most part, I'm just going to like cheat a little bit and get, just get rid of their laundry. We'll do as much as we can, but when it takes two days for the laundry to dry, um, yeah, we're, we're bound to get a little bit behind. Uh, so Thomas, you can come out here and supercell everything and tend garden. 
And Margaret is eating, so that's fine. He, oh yeah, Joseph's turn. I know things are going to get really tough with one bathroom. It's, it's coming. I just know it. Also, I have never used the pumpkin carving station before. Uh, not once. I got Spooky Day stuff maybe a month ago, and I haven't used it yet, so I'm excited to carve pumpkins. Or, or turnips. We can pretend that they're turnips. Um, the pictures, by the way, if you Google the history of jack-o'-lanterns and see the pictures of the turnips, they're actually creepy. They look like mummified human heads. <laughs> um, they're huge turnips, and it's really, really disturbing. Um, I was trying to find like when the Jack Lantern originated and I guess it was in 1835 so by 1890 they definitely would have had them so we're good on that part. Uh, Mary, she can get up now. Let's give her applesauce. And I did get Thomas to pick some apples from the trees so he can give them to the kids because um, apparently that was like a gift that they would give them. Oh, and he maxed his gardening skill while I was doing, like, I was doing, like, a little bit of, like, their filming for their intro, and he maxed his gardening skill, so he's now a level 10 gardener, and talking to his plants, those roses are worth a pretty penny. Wow, okay, um, I think he has to just weed everything now, weed all, and then we'll go out there and deal with the pears and apples. I think today is the last day of fall, uh, which is good because that they were saying that um, that's when Halloween was celebrated. It wasn't, I mean, it was always on October 31st, but it signified to them the, the final day of fall. Uh, oh, he's in the bath, so we can't, we can't do that. Is she eating? Yeah, she's just walking away with it. Okay, so she can clean that up. Uh, we can... I don't know, what else can Mary even do? Or Margaret... I'm getting bad with the name thing. It's, it's not going well. Edna could always go and prank her brother, maybe. They should go outside. Like, go, go play outside. Why aren't you? I don't know if kids can prank each other. I'm sure they can. Mischief. Um, monkey around. Sure, do that. And Margaret needs to go to the washroom. That's it. Just a little sibling banter, I guess. Um, now let's do... Scare? Tea's about fashion. That's pretty funny, given, given that it's the 1890s. I have no idea why Thomas just went running by. Oh, okay. No reason at all, it seems. Um, he can go to the bathroom now. Everything is so loud in my neighborhood. Why didn't Mary eat that applesauce? What are you doing? It's perfectly good. Um, so these two, they both did the... Oh, he didn't do the speak, spooky, spooky, oh my god. Spooky tradition. Uh, can he do scare? I don't know if that'll count. It must, because it worked for her. Okay, rude, walking away. Um, Margaret, can you replace that water? And... Yeah, this still isn't drying. It's going to be a while, I think. I think that may have worked. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, um, I kind of want one of them to carve a pumpkin because they haven't done that yet. Um, carve classic cockeyed pumpkin? Okay. Um, green, pale orange, white. Let's do white and say it's a turnip. <laughs> Let's do that, because that is exactly how it's supposed to be. So when Mary's done eating that, she can play with her cat toy thing. And Edna, um, what else do we have to do? Festive lighting, grand meal, the fire, so that's all kind of happening later. Um, she could play cards with her mom, maybe. Uh, join game. There we go, that's cute. Okay, and where's Thomas? I don't even... Oh yeah, he's in the bath, okay. Uh, oh, and we didn't even deal with all of this, which we need to do. Let's supercell. And I don't think anything needs to be weeded, it doesn't look like. I think we're good. I have a feeling Patrick's going to wake up just in time to join us for dinner. <laughs> That's what I think. You could actually add him to your family, which I was tempted to do, but... 
Then it's just one extra person to deal with, so I'm not gonna do that. Is he done his pumpkin? He seems like he's, he's, you know, having a good time. He's energized, which is nice. Uh, and then we can get Edna to do one. Reach mental level two, okay. Where, where are you going? Um, no, you're not done. You gotta, you gotta keep selling. Super sell. Um, super sell these two. And then I think that's actually all he can do. Uh, I'll do ten to garden just to see if there's anything else. If not, then I guess he is done and he can do what he wants. Um, oh, and his pumpkin is done. Oh, oh my goodness, that's very creative. <laughs> Nicely done. Um, what can we even do with this now? Light a candle. I wonder if that counts as festive lighting. Let's try it. I doubt it. Hmm, okay. Um, let's just put that, like, I don't even know. Sure, right right there. Right over top of another candle. Okay, Edna, it's your turn. Um, she's going to do a classic one. We'll do a classic orange. And Mary can have a nap. Uh, let's get Thomas to do some... Oh, mean. No, don't be mean. Um, scare scare your son. That should be good. <laughs> oh, I don't even see how that's like... Oh, I guess it's a prank, but... Um, let's see if he could do it back to him now. What's that spot? Give fake bad news. Um, okay. Margaret's just sitting there being kind of creepy. She hasn't really done any tradition yet, so maybe I'll get her to do some lighting. I don't know. Most of these things didn't start till like later in the night, just like actual Halloween, so yeah. Um, I don't even know what Joseph can do now. Go play outside. I don't know. Whatever he wants. Still waiting on that laundry. Um, I did, ma I, like off camera, I managed to put the second load up. So this isn't still the first one. We're not on day six or anything. Uh, he can go fix that. I think she's going to be hungry, so she should probably have a snack. Um, you can have some applesauce. There you go. Uh, that baby's coming in like eight hours, so. I also want to look up uh, baby names um, for the year 1890 once again. I should have them memorized by now. I've been on this website like, well, a few times. Um, okay, I've got my list up, so when she does have a baby, we'll see what we can name it. Um, Mary can now wake up. She ignores all the traditions except for the grand meal and the festive lighting, so she can stack some blocks. Can he scare his wife? That would be nice. Um, scare, what's that spot? Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, he thinks he's gonna read. Uh, then she's gotta get him back, so she can do um, invite to fake party. Wangle fruit dupes. That's a pinata. <laughs> oh, that was kind of mean. He got excited about it. A party. I mean, it, they kind of are having a party. He's just playing with his clay. Okay. Oh, and she's done her pumpkin. Okay, hers is way better. His was kind of horrible. Uh, let's put it in her inventory and then we'll put it out in front of the house. There we go. Light candle. Joseph is going through a phase. You know what? Don't wreck Halloween. Don't do it. Oh, okay. You're here then. <laughs> All right. Um, what we should probably do is actually, I know it's the middle of the day, but we're going to go light this fire now. Just because I don't know if it's going to rain, and if it does, then it'll ruin our party. <laughs> and that's just not fun. Um, change color, add fuel. My God, no. Dance, extinguish, hang out, play. Um, let's cozy up with... Margaret. And then let's get the kids to come and play. Margaret, or Mar I don't think Mary can do anything. I mean, she'd come outside. I thought Margaret was the Grim Reaper just now. She came floating over in her black, <laughs> her black skirt also. Oh my god, they are so cute. Like couples goals right there. Except for like the smallpox and the cholera. I mean, all that.
Oh wait, now they've got two kids in the picture. <laughs> it this is this is everything. I need to take a picture. There we go. You can just see Edna's like, yeah, couple goals. Um, so the kid are the kids just like she's dancing. He can dance as well. They're just being so adorable. I just love this family. This is my favorite family out of all my Let's Plays, I would say. The Hutter Baby Challenge is just constant chaos. Uh, not so very, it, it's, I love those families, but they, they're nothing compared to these guys. Where are they going? Uh, no, don't play a card game. Please don't leave your kids unattended. Um, she can go play at the fire and he can go dance at the fire. Actually, no, they should cozy up now because the kids aren't around. Or because the kids are around. No, 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 no. Add fuel. I mean, it's not the safest way, but there we go. Okay, now cozy up with Margaret. And then the kids can just keep dancing and playing and doing whatever they're doing. Oh, even Patchy. <laughs> that, that's cute. He really does think he's a member of the family. He's like, oh, we're having a family bonfire? Be right there. Yeah, he, he thinks he's he thinks he's one of us. I wouldn't, I'm not going to shut him down. He's pretty adorable. Can the kids, like, talk to him? Invite Patchy to dance. Yes, please do. Please do. I don't know if he will, but I would like to see it. <laughs> it's like, constant, the same motion over and over. Oh, he, oh, oh my god, Patchy can cut a mean rug. Look at him go. I, I was not expecting that. I was just thinking he would kind of lightly dance around like what he's doing now. That is, they're, they're just so cute. Um, I think what we should do is get Margaret to go to the bathroom. I know no one's really hungry, but these two just want to play cards together so badly. Um, I mean, we can, but like, just not right. No, don't make a mess. Uh, she's doing it anyway, hey? Uh, let's go and discipline. Um, firm. Tell not to make a mess. And then I'm gonna get uh, Margaret to make their meal. Uh, let's do, we did ham last time. Uh, we could do fish, that's kind of strange, but let's just do a fish dinner because they're gonna do turkey for Christmas, so that should be good. They are just loving this fire. Uh, oh, it's cleaned up. Okay, is uh, is she potty trained? Pretty much. Okay, good. Um, and then he can... I really don't know. Just wait for the dinner to be made, I guess. Is there room for all of them to sit here? There is not. Okay, so what I could do now, though, is get that old... the table and chairs that he made. We're just gonna put the kid off to the corner. <laughs> um, my dogs are playing outside. Um, so what I'm actually going to do, I think what I'll do is, like, we're going to place the um, dining room table and chairs that T Thomas made. Uh, but he only made two chairs. He has to make some more. So, like, we'll keep these ones for now, and I will put in the ones that he made, just not until he's made them all, the entire set. Uh, so she's going to go over to, yeah, she's good there. Um, so when she's done that, I want to put her in the high chair, and then she can eat. The kids are going to play cards, I guess. <laughs> Um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Don't sit there. Um, put Mary here. I don't know if we can give her, like, a serving of the grand meal. I don't quite remember how that works, but we can try. Try to potty. That is really cute. <laughs> she's trying, and she's wearing her winter coat because, of course, it's outside. Okay, come on. Like, this is taking forever. Um, let's just get him to feed her, give food, applesauce, and then she's going to call to the grand meal. Yes, we know. We know, trust me, we haven't, we haven't forgotten. So, so cute. I love the bell. I just love it. Okay, everyone has to sit at the table, not on the bed. He's gonna go sit on the bed, I can already tell. You suck. Don't do it. 
No, Thomas, no. No, no, no. It's so much work to get them to do what I want them to do. And now he's going to put his... Oh, my God. <laughs> now, I don't even know what he did with his food. Um, where's your plate? Uh, oh, now I've really done it. I don't know where it just went. Um... Yep, I just, I really screwed that up. I have no idea where his plate just went. Can I just, like... Uh, you know what? You don't even... You're being, you know... You're, I was gonna say you're being punished, but he's a grown man. Um, you can just have... A giant bowl of chili, apparently. What keeps happening? <laughs> Why can't he just have food? Okay, there it is. It's in his inventory. There we go. You're eating something different. There we go. Beautiful. <laughs> I'll put that there. What are you doing? What are you doing and where are you going? Eat your fish. Even Mary knows how to behave better than him. Oh, that was funny. He sighed at the same time that I sighed. Like, okay, that kid, he just does whatever he wants. Okay, so Margaret is, like, super tired, so we should probably get her to light this, this thing. Um, admire lights, light candles with... Just, just light it by yourself. Getting your entire family to do something is not going to be easy. <laughs> she uses, uh, that, no, she used a match, okay? Um, admire lights, okay, yeah, sure. She, we all know she loves the festive lighting. She didn't do anything spooky, though. Um, I don't really know what that means. Sing, share Halloween spirit? Yeah, sure. And, uh, then it's pretty much bedtime. Um, I'm just waiting for this baby to come, which is taking a really long time. Let's go put Mary to bed. And Patchy has returned. Okay. I am no longer afraid of Patchy. Um, I'm, a, I'm startled by Patchy at times, but I wouldn't say that the fear is there anymore. So that, that's good. He's a nice guy. I shouldn't have judged him harshly. And then Margaret can go to bed until that baby comes, which could be just just about any minute now. And the kids are just cleaning up, which is good. Um, I do have some names picked out. I've been looking at this list. So yeah, whenever, whenever she feels like having a baby, I am ready to name it. Uh, so Edna, she can go to bed. I know it's like super early, but I'm just trying to play through this quickly so we can get this baby. Oh, there, we, there it is. Gone into labor. Okay, you get up. Do your thing. While I look at names. Um, okay, so it's a girl. Um, so we could do Ruth or... Hmm. I was going to say Marie, but we already have Mary, so that doesn't make much sense. Mabel is cute. I'm doing Mabel. Mabel Miller. That's adorable. Okay, so now we have Joseph, Edna, Mary, and Mabel. Those are adorable names. And I will leave this part right here. Thanks for watching.